Hello everyone, I am Fatima from Computer Science Department. Hello everyone, I am Jiamin Zhang from Actual Royal Science Department. Welcome to our presentation. In this project, we tried to uncover the relationship between the index price and Bitcoin news. We use logistic regression to predict price movements. Logistic regression falls under the category of the supervised learning. It measures the relationship between the categorical, in, uh, categorical dependent variable and uh, one or more independent variables by estimating the probability using the logistic or sigmoid function. In spite of the name logistic regression, this is not used for regression problem where the task is to predict the real value output. It is a classification problem which is used to predict the binary, the binary outcome given a set of independent variables. Logistic regression is a bit similar to the linear regression, or we can say it as a generalized linear model. In linear regression, we predict a real valued output y based on a weighted sum of input variables. The, the aim of the linear regression is to estimate value for model coefficients and fit the training data with minimal squared error and predict the output y. Logistic regression does the same thing, but with one addition. The logistic regression model compute, computes a weighted sum of the input variable similar to the linear regression, but it runs the result through a special nonlinear function, the logistic function or sigmoid function, to produce the output y. Here, the output is binary or, the, or in the form of 0, 1 or minus 1 or 1. The sigmoid or logistic function is given by the following equation. As you can see in the graph, it is an S-shaped curve that gets closer to 1 as the value of input variable increases above 0, and get closer to 0 as the input variable decrease below 0. The output of the sigmoid function is 0.5 when the input variable is 0. Thus, if the output is more than 0 0.0, we can classify the outcome as 1 or positive. And if it is less than 0.5, we can classify it as 0 or negative. Now, let's consider the task of predicting the Bitcoin price movement. If tomorrow's closing price is higher than today's closing price, closing price then we will buy the Bitcoin, else we will sell it. For example, if the output is 0.7, then we can say that there is a 70% chance that tomorrow's closing price is higher than today's closing price and classify it as 1. So we started by importing the necessary library like pandas, sci-fi, numpy, uh, and uh, we use a, a scalar uh, for a logistic regression. And also we use um, NLTK library for this project. News have some phrase from other language. So we wrote a function to remove the non-English phrase. So first we imported data and uh, remove NA values from data. So we import train data uh, Excel file and also train label Excel file. Uh, train data, uh, our train data uh, contains uh, dates and uh, news uh, and uh, the label train labels con uh, con contains uh, labels and we wanted to merge these two files together, but um, first we extract, extract news and labels and dates from these two files and fix the format of dates. And so after removing, uh, after uh, fixing the format of dates, 
we merge two files based on dates together uh, using uh, uh, using merge uh, function and uh, then write uh, into new excel file with the name of merge data data excel sx so here we used our define function to remove the non-english phrase from news then we used the count vector visor to convert the words to vector. After that, we split our news and the target file. So the target file here it means the labels. We split our news, we split our news and target file to the train and test the data. Then we instantiated the log log logistic regression using the logistic regression function and fit the model on the training data set using the fit function. So here we use we used X test data and calculate the probabilities of the class for test data set using predict prob prob function. Next we predicted the class label using using a predict function for the test data set and then we wrote predicted labels to an excel file so the predicted files contains up and down movements the confusion matrix is used to describe the performance of the classification model on a set of test data set for which the true value are known. We will calculate the confusion matrix using confusion matrix function. As you can see, uh, you can inter interpret the about matrix as the table in the left bottom corner. Okay. Uh, we use another method to examine the performance of classification model. The F1 score tells us the accuracy of the classifi classifier in classifying the data points in that particular class compared to all other class. It is calculated by taking the harmonic means of mean of precision and recall. The support is the number of samples of the true response that lies in that class. So if you look at the result you can see that we have a precision uh, of total uh, fif uh, 52% and recall uh, 54% and F score is 53% and support is like the number of supports is uh, that number 10,017. We calculated the model accuracy on the test data set using the score function. And as you, as you can see that the number is 0.5411 or something. So we can see that it is 54% of accuracy. And also we will uh, cross check the accuracy of the model using the tenfold cross validation. For this one, we will use cross while score function, which we have imported from the SK Learn cross validation library. And the accuracy is around 52, which means that the model is working fine. Thank you for your watching.